Good afternoon everyone, Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. Guys, we are already heading into the dog days of summer. We are going to be like 98 degrees this weekend. Um, ERCOT here in Texas is already threatening that there may be some shortages and some outages. Imagine that. Said that they're doing maintenance. That's the excuse that they constantly use is that they're doing maintenance. They did that um, a couple of months ago when it got cold. But anyway, so for your garden this weekend, if you're here in North Texas, you wanna make sure that uh, you watch your little tenderlings and that they get plenty of water and uh, just really baby them in this next week because it says that we're gonna be in the 90s um, all of next week. No more chances of rain. We did get a little bit of a shower yesterday um, but so we're gonna dry out pretty quickly here um, So yeah, you want to make sure and take care of your tenderlings um, I would water them in the morning and, and give them a good drench to uh, sustain the heat because frankly your tenderlings are not prepared uh, For most of you who have just planted around Easter or even those of us who planted back in March to take the heat this soon um, so you need to be sure and guard your plants. So one good thing is uh, we are supposed to get down to 58 tonight. We need that cool, we need the cool nights. And I think all of next week in the 60s because uh, we don't wanna go into hot nights and hot days right away. That's gonna inhibit some of the flowering on our tomatoes. And like I said, that's just too dang hot for May. So let's do an update a little bit. I got some beautiful zucchinis coming in and this is in a container, guys. And you can see this plant is actually huge and loving its spot. I have some squash and stuff in these other two tubs. Um, I'm starting to see some little buds come out. So I'm starting some bush beans and some tubs in here and I'm trying to uh, plant them about a week apart so that we have a continual harvest, but I'm afraid with the heat, we're running out of time to even do that. So my tomatoes in the little high tunnel are looking really great. I'm gonna have to get in here and do some pruning this weekend, give them some air, but let's come over here. And I have quite a few tomatoes on these vines. Just about every single vine has tomatoes and you can see I have buds on these which I'm thankful for because again we're going into the dog days and look at these these are looking beautiful I could make me some good old fried green tomatoes right now if I wanted to so most likely here in Texas your broccolis your cabbage uh, your lettuces your cauliflowers your spinaches, all that's gonna start to bolt, guys, with this hot weather. So you can either let them bolt and save the seeds or you can go ahead and start harvesting. So my squash in this raised bed is doing very well. It's looking very beautiful, hoping to start seeing some flowers on these. So some of my beets that I left in the ground are looking beautiful. These have got to come up before something else gets them. But you can see, guys, the heat, get off there. The heat is really starting to make um, your greens or our greens start to wilt. We have some beautiful bush beans here, but as you go down the line, they start to, to dwindle. And Greg's been uh, fertilizing them and trying to give them some minerals to get them going. We're not really sure, guys, what the difference is. These are the tomatoes in the other high tunnel. Last weekend, guys, what was it about? Right here, and look how much these have grown in just a week. Just about every bush in here has tomatoes on them. You can see on down the line. So your early spring veggies are quickly coming to an end and we're gonna go into our summer veggies. Now, since we're kind of getting so hot in May, 
Um, kind of makes me wonder if we're going to have a mild end of May and maybe June. That remains to be seen, but uh, wow, already in the upper 90s on May. It's going to be May the 7th and the 8th and all of next week. So again, you want to take care of your tenderlings. You want to make sure they get plenty of water because um, they're just not prepared to ramp up and be uh, prepared to take on the heat that we're going to be getting at least in the next 10 days here in North Texas. So thank you for watching and thank you uh, for joining us. We ask that you hit that subscribe button, that you hit that like button, and that you hit that little bell so you know when we post a new video. Things are ramping up fast around here. Take care, guys. God bless you. And uh, we will be in touch more this weekend.